Well, who would have thought trees were so interesting? They're beautiful and they're lovely, but who would have thought you could have a whole career out of trees? Well, it does happen, and I'm not talking about working in a local nursery. I'm talking about an arboriculturalist. If I can have said that right, arboriculturalist. Um, they are people that come along to your site, charge you silly amounts of money um, for, I'm standing under here because there might be an acorn coming down. It's an acorn tree, so just in case, always wear your PPE, guys. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, they'll come down and they'll tell you what trees to plant. And uh, I'm not a tree expert, I haven't got a clue. I know evergreens and deciduous, that's a word, isn't it? Um, I know about that. That's about the limit of my um, tree expertise. So genuinely it is a, an area of expertise where people come in and tell you what trees will flourish in what, what kind of soil. Now we've got a fair bit of planting to do on this site, notwithstanding all the existing trees. If I can get you guys, I'm gonna swing you right round. We've got tree lines all the way round, big mature trees, and down this area, huge load of mature trees down the site. So we wanna protect those, we wanna trim them accordingly, we wanna maintain them. Um, we're planting, as I mentioned in the previous video, when I talked about the exterior design of the building and wrapping the building, we're putting trees all the way down at, um, every couple of panels to break up that big grey panel down the building. Also painting a lot of the blue, different colours and grey to make it toned down again, but bringing lots of green down the building and wood panel effect through the wrapping. Um, so we've got to plant all those up and we've got to know how much space to dig, what kind of soil to plant them in, what kind of trees to plant, you know, the exact specification for this design of site. We've got a very advanced landscape design we want to employ on here to turn this ugly duckling into a beautiful swan. Um, we've also got the edge of the business park which you can just catch a corner of in the background which looks horrific. We're going to have very mature trees there. We're going to do high fences getting through planning and then want to cover those fences with some nice foliage and much higher mature foliage. So we've got something like this eventually you know in a few years time follow me down this way guys in a few years time you know these trees will be covering all four sides of this site um, and it'll be its own kind of little village makeup. So um, Depending on the type of site you're in, if you're in a city centre, obviously you probably won't need an arboriculturalist consultant, um, more likely for an out-of-town development. Um, I'll take my hard, hard hat off now, no danger of falling acorns. Um, but th th there was no falling acorns, by the way, that's just me being a bit silly. Um, so apologise for my poor sense of humour. Ultimately, arboriculturalist, one of the main consultants you might need on an out-of-town development, on a house building scheme, if you're building three to five houses you might need well one to five houses you might need some trees planted and landscaping done and that's the guy that's going to tell you what to do how to plant and ultimately don't waste your money on plants that don't work don't live and aren't planted properly um hope you've enjoyed this video um it's a bit of a, a bit of an odd one i thought i'd chuck it in there it is someone we're paying to work on this site with us there's a long list of different consultants you need to deliver a project of this size you probably haven't thought about it before that's the point of this video now you will hope it's been interesting please subscribe and click that bell icon. I know I keep saying it, but I want you to join me on this journey of this site and many others that we're doing through our company, uh, Redbrick. I look forward to seeing you on another video very soon. Take care.